what up what up what up so i decided to do uh like a quick uh like youtube video or something like that um you know there's just a lot on my mind um so i kind of wanted to talk uh you know less about spirituality and magic and uh, more about uh politics history and philosophy and um, one of the things that I want to talk about in this video was um, the term uh, that we we com commonly refer to as the, um, you know, the colors. You know, we call ourselves black or we call ourselves white, even though neither group of people are these colors that we call ourselves. So we have um, indigenous Americans referring to themselves as black, even though they are not the color of black. <laughs> they're just, they're brown. We're brown people, you know. And uh, that's a whole other subject, I guess, on history about uh, that. But I'm not going to get into that today. Um, but I am going to get into this. Um, and then you have Europeans who commonly refer to themselves as white, even though they're cream, which is like a light brown, or they're pink. You know, so um, the these colors that people call themselves doesn't accurately describe uh, the human uh, skin tone. So what is the real truth behind uh, people referring to themselves as these terms? And, um, you know, that uh, gets an illegality, which it's all 1800s law that is called the color of law. And uh, that term does uh, <laughs> is quite applicable to this particular topic and situation. Um, but... Uh, when you start to dive into it, I guess, deeper, um, you know, a lot of it is magic. And I guess it does come back to magic because magic is your focal point in life. Like, um, I always say this, and uh, this is something I just believe. There's a lot of guys claiming to be like red pill, like, oh, I'm red pill. Blah, blah. But like, dude, if you're not performing magic, you're you're not red pill. Remember in the movie The Matrix? Uh, Neo was like doing magic. Neo was like dodging bullets and stuff. He was flying in the air. He was performing what we would refer to as miracles. And uh, you can't be red pill if you ain't performing miracles, man. If your magic game ain't ain't, ain't happening, if you if you you know you, your psychic senses ain't aware, and you're you're not using your psychic senses on a regular, like it's a second by second thing. Like I I there's no turn it off to psychic. It's not like oh I'm psychic sometimes, and you're red pill sometimes. Is what you're saying, you know, like. You you can't, and then like there's a whole like another aspect I guess uh, I'm gonna get into this. Uh, is it like oh you got to be like cold and stuff? And, like that's like like death too, you know. Like your emotions are like your power. Like how can you perform magic without like power? You know, there's there's your 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 energy is is your power is love. That feeling of love actually amplifies your magic. So if you are suppressing your feeling of love out of fear of rejection or whatever, <laughs> is, is ultimately you're only manipulating weak-minded people. Um, you know, like there's a whole other aspect of it where you can't be magical and not have a certain amount of love. Even people that practice dark magic... Uh, if you really listen to the rhetoric and philosophy, you'll kind of break down that, okay, these people have a certain amount of love, you know, and you could say, oh, because of this or oh, because of that. But you really have to, like, break it down to, like, not society standards, but to the standards of life itself. And that's a whole nother topic of, like, okay, like, you have society standards where society says this is right and this is wrong, and then you have, like, life standards, which says this is truthful and this is false. So, you kind of, if you really want to be a good magician, I guess you kind of have to um, live in truth, 
and uh, that truth is your power. Truth leads to love. Like how you know that you are practicing um, uh, love or truth is love is the manifestation of truth. So you can't like claim to be like truthful and not be loving. You know, there's there's a lack of truth in your life if if the result is not love. <laughs> so, I mean, I see so many people and really what they're teaching is manipulation. And, you know, I'm not I'm not here to, to cast any moral uh, judgment on that. You know, they, what people choose to create with their life is their business. But I am pointing out the creation. What are you creating with your life? Are you creating a joyful a uh, uh, satisfying life, a, a sustainability of life, a life that makes you feel whole and good and perfect. And are you living that kind of life or are you living a life that has gaping holes in it and, you know, you're constantly trying to escape it with new outside activities, you know, so there's a whole nother aspect there. And then there's like a whole other thing too, where like money, like you know, since we're getting into politics, like, like money doesn't exist. Like money is a figment of your imagination. Money only exists inside the human mind. And that is only because you choose to believe in it. And um, money doesn't actually exist. It's on all of the levels, whether it's gold, whether it's silver. Oh, oh speech, speech is the real money. No, no, it isn't. Um, n none of it is. <laughs> it's a goddamn rock. It's a rock on the ground. That, that gold nugget that, that's supposed to be so valuable. Gold's are real. It's, it's a goddamn rock on the ground, man. Like, you go pick up a, a rock on the ground, and guess what? That rock that, that's laying there on the ground is the same amount of value as gold and silver, literally. It's the same damn value. You can pick up a, a, a stick off the ground, and that stick holds the same damn value as gold and silver, okay? These, these, these are goddamn ornaments on the ground. When God created the earth or whatever, whatever you, you, you view, I'm just going to say that, you know, God is 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 more like a, a separate but same entity and that's the anomaly of god you know it, it's it's both separate and it's the same it's 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 why they put e bloomers pluros or whatever the hell or navoro soaker on the back of the dollar bill or something which out of one there's many or or some such bullshit whatever the hell's on that damn dollar bill is that's why they put it there because they know the the truth if you will so which they do um so they they, they you know they they know you, you don't know the truth but out of one there's many um it, it is it is true out of one there is many you know the uh god is both one and all you know he's he's everything or you know she's everything to be you know more accurate and um you know, and of course, I, I'm, I'm still, you know, kind of uh, uh, brainwashed into, you know, calling God a, a he, you know, when the God, the God is a feminine deity. So um, there's a whole, that's a whole other subject, too, where, you know, if you practice the world religions, you know, most of them say, you know, uh, the best way to act is, you know, to really just to, to be in touch with both your masculine and your feminine side. If you're just all, like, masculine, you're kind of like, missing a point of life. And if you're all feminine, you're also missing a point of life so you have to kind of um you know be honest and you'll probably lean more towards the feminine more often um because that's just the way that life was created to live like you're you're supposed to be a healer and a bringer uh, more so than a take awayer you know if you live in a mindset of take 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 and never give 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 you're gonna you're not gonna live a very self-fulfilled life you're always gonna be searching for things outside of yourself Instead of things inside of yourself, which is true self-fulfillment, like you could be locked up in a room with no type of entertainment <laughs> and still be um, self-fulfilled because um, that's like the definition of self-fulfillment, you know, is you don't need uh, anything from the outside to fill you up, you know, yourself fulfilled, you know, so that's really what satisfaction comes in. You got to be satisfied with yourself. And in order to be satisfied with yourself, you have to like yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to like the person that you are. And, and the way to do the ultimate test to see if you like the self, um, just imagine if, uh, you were a separate person, 
All right. So if you can clone yourself into an exact replica and um, you're standing across from yourself, you know, would you like that person? Would you want to hang around that person? If the answer is no, you're probably trying to escape that person through outside means, whether that's work, whether it's alcohol or drugs. Um, there's many sex, there's many escapes that people do, relationships, you know, and then there's so many, and that's a whole nother topic, relationships, I, it's another video, um, but, uh, for this video, we're talking about, you know, more so politics, but every time we talk about this stuff, it always comes back to magic, because really magic is your focal point in life, like, okay, if you're not doing magic, you're not, there's a section of your life <laughs> that's not quite complete. Because magic is your power and, and how well, your power is love. You know, you're doing what you love to do, you know, so there's a whole other, you know, there. So, you know, uh, again, if you're not, if you're not, you know, tapped into your uh, deeper self, if you're not tapped into the miracle that is you, you know, um, then uh, you're, you're, there's a whole other part that's just not connected, you know, and I always use the USB reference you know it's like it's like having a, a usb cord that's hooked up to a computer right if that usb cord is not connected to the computer it's not going to speak to the computer unless it's, it's wi-fi or something like that but it needs a connection in order to speak to that particular entity or that particular presence or that particular thing or whatever so um having that level of understanding is that you need to be connected to uh some would say the spiritual realm or the spiritual world in order to tap into your essence um but uh you know there there's you know it is it is, you have to really just be in tap with yourself because you are part of the spirit world so you don't really have to go outside of yourself you don't have to necessarily view the spirit world as something separate from yourself but if you view yourself as part of the spirit world then all you really have to do is just focus on yourself oh you want to speak with god or whatever then focus on yourself oh you want to like a world winning relationship well focus on yourself you want money focus on yourself uh everything is focused on yourself because you have a talent you want to make money blah, blah, blah. you know if you focus on yourself you're going to find that talent you're going to offer your service um you know i probably should be like a shaman or something because I, I really love to help people that's 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 if i could get a job where i'm just like loving and helping people all damn dead and you know that's go that's gonna be my thing and then i'm gonna start taking donations and most also start a non-profit pretty soon um so look out for that uh probably gonna call it feed the birds because that's that's what I, I like to do i like to feed the birds birds are just a wonderful a great creature and they, and they love me and i love them it's a wonderful relationship i have with the birds i i, I feed my local birds and um yeah, I love the birds. Birds are just the kindest, sweetest animals you'll ever meet. The birds are just something else. I really love the birds, and um, I'm probably gonna start a nonprofit. Uh, which the nonprofit will probably pay for, uh, you know, over time. You know, I hope to actually grow it out to be like, you know, maybe I can, you know, kind of do this as a quote unquote day job. But um, you know, I think it'd be awesome, awesome job to kind of heal the world a little bit. Um. But uh, yeah, yeah, you know, like uh, I'm going to start off small probably and, um, you know, just yeah, probably buy the food for the birds. <laughs> but, um, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, I like to push things to the limit. I don't like to be second best at uh, <laughs> too much of anything, you know, so, you know, I, I do kind of like to go for the gold. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, 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 there's all things for another day. Um, but uh, with this video, I just want, really want to point out the etymology of the... Um, really the word black and uh you know the politics that go on in the world and and you know uh, us indigenous people us native americans we really should stop calling ourselves um black you know because it, it doesn't describe us and i think that europeans should probably stop calling themselves white you know too because that too is is also like kind of a, a word of death you know both white and black mean the same thing uh and uh both actually kind of mean death so, uh, you know, yeah, like, uh, you should probably stop calling yourself death, you know, oh, ah, I'm a white person, but you're, you're basically saying I'm a death person, you know, like every, everything that like white is always associated with death, you know, so you, you gotta, gotta, 
these the old noggin. Now I know why Europeans started using the word white as is a symbol of purity, because uh, uh, the spirit world, uh, you see white ghost, uh, white light. Um, it is pure in comparison to this world, I guess, if you want to even call it that. Um, but, um, you know, uh, it, it does, it's not applicable. You're still living, or if you're still participating in an experience, and I'm even going to call it living, because it's not really actually living. We're not living right now. We're, we're participating in something. And, um, and you know be participated in the best way that you can and one of the best ways to do that is probably not to call yourself death or probably call your call yourself non-participation you know that would be the most accurate way like oh i'm 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 this i'm black person i'm a white person like you're basically saying that you're like not participating in what we commonly refer to as life like you got to break that down like just participate in it you know like oh i'm gonna take myself away from it don't you know like it's it, it, it's good you just gotta like learn learn the the truth and the truth will i guess set you free uh, but um you know yeah yeah there's just truth in all all things and you know i always encourage people if you if you want to like um have the best results and like organize religion like you're like oh man i i want i want to get into the spiritual thing and i will always direct you into like one or two places um, but I'm going to direct you into one just to keep it simple because I've seen the people with this other reference point that I, I might point out. Um, they they kind of lose it. So I'm just going to steer you in the direction of one provenly good place, and that is Buddhism. Um, just just mess with Buddhism. Like if you if you out there and you want some spirituality, go, go to Buddhism and uh, don't believe in Buddha. Buddha is a made up character just like the other one. So that's my video and I love you guys and uh, take care. All right.